for the first time in 71 years since Fred Perry, little Scottish boy, Andy Murray, has won Wimbledon. <sighs> yeah! Yeah! And now for the press conference. Oh, God. Ooh. Andy. Well done, well done. Thank it's you. amazing. Um, Thank you very much, sir. Uh, let me just congratulate you first uh, you so to the much, win. Sir. And uh, what do you think about the uh, the game? Well, I, I sort of thought it was a, it was a great match, but uh, Djokovic wasn't quite on par. But uh, I just want to say he's a gentleman. He's a great sportsman. I'm so proud to win this for Scotland. Sorry for England. And uh, I just want to say on behalf of all the people who might think I'm a bit dull, I've got no personality. I, I've got one, you know, I do like dancing. But uh, it was a great match. And credit to all the people who turned up to boo me, to see me play. And <laughs> it, was, it was just a, a great <laughs> honor. And uh, I just want to say thank you, Wimbledon. And uh, I beat Djokovic in the US Open. He, he came back after two sets. But uh, he's a great sportsman, great champion. And uh, it just wasn't his day today, it was, it was mine. And I just want to say congratulations uh, to everybody, to, uh, to, to Glasgow, to Edinburgh. I forget the English. And um, I want to say everything about Scotland, which is a, which is a good, great country. Can I remind you about the haggis and uh, everything else? But uh, I just want to say, it was a really, really tough match, and uh, I played him in the US Open. We played five sets, I was up two sets, and he came back uh, after two sets to the right level, and uh, he, he came back. I just want to say thank you so much, and I'm very proud to be Scotch-English. And um, he was... British, he, maybe. <laughs> do I have to say that? I, I, I like saying that. Okay, I'm really yeah. proud to be British. Yeah. And. Uh, Thank you, thank you Wimbledon, yeah. thank you all. Thank, thank you. you Andy, this thank was you. amazing uh, for all of us. Thank you, thank um, you very much. And yeah, and now we're going to move uh, to one of the great um, uh, sportsmen, sport commentators. So we're going to ask him a little bit about um, this game. Thank you, thank you. So uh, we're now moving to Gary, hi Gary. So thank you very, very, very much. Uh, uh, Gary, we would like to ask you what you think of uh, the well, game. You've seen, you've seen the game. Uh, you've seen uh, the the, uh, yeah, the players. Yeah, what yeah, uh, yeah, how they reacted? How they played? Yes, I have. Yeah. So, what do you think about the game? Uh, did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it very much, but I kind of think that Djokovic was kind of below par in many ways. There was something about the setting room dress up when they first turned out. I, I, he looked kind of overwhelmed by the whole situation. I've never seen play so bad. Really. What do you think by, by overwhelmed? He's, he's uh, one of the best players uh, that is out there. So how do you explain that he um, he was beaten by uh, um, by the, this, uh, this Scottish guy by Andy? <laughs> <laughs> by Andy Murray. But you've got to talk about uh, Djokovic as a really overwhelming player. On his day, he's, he is the best player by par in the world. And I just saw a sort of lacklustre performance. It's like he came out of the dressing room with no fighting curves. Um, it was a disappointing match, but I'm going to be controversial about saying this. I know the British public won't like me at all, but I think it was a fix. Are you serious? I absolutely think so. I mean, if well, what you What you base it on? Well, if we see a Wimbledon final, okay, and I saw Federer play Nadal, you know, and it was so combative, it was so competitive. You know, one person had to win, had the will. Tennis is about guts. You've got to have the will to win. And I saw balls being, his serve was terrible. And he didn't listen over his head. He just put it there and just, there's no power. Balls were passing by him. It was hard to say, come on Andy, let's go. Here's the ball. Thank you, thank you so much. Where's the spirit? I'm sorry if I'm going to upset the Wimbledon officials, but I'm sure to tell you, Stefan, this game was a fix. It's, uh, isn't it a bit funny that they came out from the same locker room before yes. the, the match? But I've never seen, see, Djokovic is such an earnest person. He's a very serious, a very nice guy off the court, but he was almost playing telegraphy, so say, smiling and being happy. Even in defeat, the guy was hugging him all the time. 
Yeah, there was Murray who was insipid and dull as always. Sorry, Murray, we got no problem at all. <laughs> but Jokovic was just, I thought it was his girlfriend. He was jumping on his lap in defeat. I'm sorry. It, it was, look, if you want a paradigm in tennis, go and watch Federer and Nadal in the 2008 final. That's when you had two players who had the will and the guts to win. No one perceived who was going to win. But with Djokovic, and even in the U sorry. No worries. <laughs> sorry, yeah. Stefan. Yeah. Even in the US Open final, when he lost two sets, he was down two sets to Murray, the guy came back. That's his fighting spirit. This guy's won six grand slams for God's sake. Yeah. Do you think it was just a setup because the, uh, there was so much pressure from media in the recent yeah, years, yeah. and uh, we've been uh, waiting for Stephen, seventy, yeah. more than seventy years. years since Fred Perry won it in nineteen yeah. thirty-six. So do you yes. think that played some role? Do you think there was some kind of wide uh, pressure and uh, maybe some kind of um, f some kind of setups? Yeah. From uh, more than just maybe just one uh, one uh, one place. How about how about uh, the fact that? Two great players went out in uh, pretty much yes. at the beginning. How about? I was absolutely shocked by Nadal going out in the first round. But it seems to be even the women's tennis players, the Sharapova went out, Williams went out, um, uh, Tonga, Federer. It was, I think the whole thing was completely fixed. Because you know what's happened? There's been a real good feel good factor in this country with the Olympics. You know, with Mo Farrow winning. Um, and other people winning the Olympics, and it was almost much like a British theme. And I'm saying to myself, Murray, you don't deserve that title because it was fixed. Okay, you're gonna have it for one more year, but next year, Djokovic, Nadal, and all those players will beat your ass. That's all I'm gonna say because I, I'm not. It was a, it was a dreadful game. It was a fix completely, organized by the Asians and management, and for brand and advertising. A disgrace to tennis. I'm sorry to say that. I may lose my job after this. I don't care. I'll flip burgers in Burger King. I don't give a dust. <laughs> this is a disgrace. Did you see the ball? He was just... That's not Nadal. That's not Federer. That's not Djokovic. Djokovic take the ball, bounce it, look at his player very pensively and very seriously and take it. Pause for one second. Hit the ball. Take it. I'll give you a demonstration now, a tennis lesson. And then boom, and then bang. No, it was like. There you go, Andy. It's all yours. Take it. Smiling every time there's a passing shot. And the worst thing about it all was seeing Murray's face when he won. Because he has. Can, can, you, can you show us his face? His. Well, uh, it, was, it was a great game. And I'm trying to be like a media personality, like David Beckham, but I, I haven't got the the personality to be a star. But it was really great to win for Scotland, forget England. I don't like that country. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let, let's let's uh, let's Wrap move on. Okay. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Gary, for uh, you for, for your for your uh, for, for your for opinion. It, thank it, you very much. They may they may be controversial, but yeah, it, it may be controversial. But the fact that they are really good friends and they, they, they yes, came yes, out from yes, the yes, same yes, locker yes, room yes, 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 just yes. before the match. Yes, and seeing I, I, I will never take away the sporting friendship that they have because, if anything, Djokovic for me is the greatest sportsman in terms of his grace when he lost. You know, there's no finer component. If that's a paradigm to sport, like all these over arrogant football players are making so much money who fight themselves and do silly little things. For me, he was the winner of the whole thing. And the press absolutely loved him. So Djokovic, I just want to say, it was a great game. Not a fantastic game. It was a good game, but I wanted to see more. I wanted to see a game. I'm a tennis aficionado. I love the game so much. I want to see fighting. Early one more days. question, maybe. Sorry, one more question. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, thank you. Probably the last one. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, sorry, Gary. We were friends. Uh, you got you. Uh, one more question for you, okay? This is my one. <laughs> okay. I think we're losing. I think we're losing. There is pro technical problems. Right. Okay. We'll try to okay. fix it. Ah, okay. okay. It's okay. working now. 
So one more God question. One more question. Um, do you think? Do you think that Murray has got chances to win the other grand, grand slams like US Open or uh, next year's Wimbledon? Do you know what I think? Or, or do you think that if he doesn't win any of these, do you think it would even more support the the theory we've just been talking about? Yes, I th- I think now you're probably talking about the two best players in the world, bar none. Now Federer is now sort of slowly faded out, and we're now talking about Djokovic and Federer, and I think they're going to be head to head in all the Grand Slams finals. But yes, you're right. There was a bit of a conspiracy by saying, was it a fix? I I don't know. I just didn't see Djokovic coming out the traps like a boxer, putting his fists up, putting his cuts. Up. That's what I saw. Maybe he was tired after that five match. What 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 if uh, what we yes. have we have the same final uh, in the US Open and what if uh, uh, you see Djokovic playing absolutely amazingly yes. well? Uh, what and if he wins, what would you think of that compared to this match? Yeah, I I, I think you're absolutely right. I think that uh, Djokovic might just come back with a different kind of tactic, but I didn't see the Djokovic uh, that we all know and absolutely love and, and salute him. But you're right, there was, I don't know if it's controversy, but I'm sorry, I, I may lose my job again. You know, I'll, I'll be working Burger King, six pounds of fries. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you want fries? Maybe, maybe we can fix something for you, yeah, don't yes, worry. But I, but I really think- And that, it wouldn't be a, a, a oh, burger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we keep up. No, and I think that Seriously, they are they are great adverts for the game. They are the two best players by none. I'm sorry to say Nadal and Federer are slowly fading out, but I think the Grand Slams will be contested between the pair of them and uh, maybe three or four years. I can see Murray winning some more Grand Slams. All right. Thank you, Gary, again. Thank you very much, sir. And we're going to return to the court and uh, see how the people cheer and Thank celebrate you. the win. Get off, Murray! We hate you! Yeah, we love you, Murray! Murray! <sighs> <laughs> well done! Well, thank you, good, good day. I just want to say what, 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 one thing as I come back up, I'll, I'll call. I just want to say it's. It, um, um, uh, uh, I, I can't speak because I'm not emotional, I don't cry. <laughs> and it was great to beat Fred Perry's um, record head. I want to thank this fantastic journalist. He's, he's a really great guy, Stefan Dominic. You know, and I uh, wish him all the best when he does his journalistic uh, traveling around the world. We will wrap up now. Uh, Goodbye, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, bye. <laughs>